Okay, all you webmasters out there, so let's dive into some questions about Final Sight. Question came in on how do I add a document into Final Sight? So, and I'm assuming that means you know how do I create a link to a document? Keep in mind that when you're working with a content management system like Final Sight, your documents need to live in the system before you can link it. Uh, we are used to something like, say, maybe in a Google document, otherwise an email, we link a document that might be on our desktop or in our documents folder. And that's totally fine. Just keep in mind a website doesn't really live on your computer. It lives on a server up in the cloud, meaning you need to upload your document there first before you can use it on a page. So we do that in Final Sight through what's called the file manager. And the file manager is over here next to these little icons here. Uh, I'm going to show you what I think is just a little bit of a more streamlined process, but just so you know, it, this is kind of the same process. So when you're inside of a content box, and keep in mind, anything can be a link. It can be an image, it can be um, a letter, a word, a sentence, a paragraph. Anything that you can select can become a link. So in this case, I'm, I want this word introduction to become a link to a document. And in my case, I'm going to use a PDF document, but please know that you can technically use anything. So if you wanted, you could make a Microsoft Word document um, your link, whatever you really want. But typically, when we're talking about web pages, you want to most likely have your documents as a PDF. So I'm going to highlight the word. I'm going to create a link. Add link. And in this window, we talked about this before for most of you, um, there are five different types of links. The one we're looking for in this case is a site file. So I go to site file. You do have a resource manager and a file manager. For right now, I'm going to suggest you guys use the file manager. This opens up the same window that we were talking about earlier. So for file manager, you will see a lot of folders and files over here on the left. Our recommendation is that you have your folders um, mimic your pages, so make sure you are in the correct page before you do anything else. So for me, I'm going to put this under EdTech. I have a 201 folder that's just miscellaneous for training purposes, so I'm going to make sure I first select the folder here, upload the files, choose, in my case it's on my desktop, I've just got a general one-page document that I'm going to upload, and click on Upload. Keep in mind what you just did on terms of your web page is nothing. What you did do is you moved that file from, in my case, my desktop or on my computer into the file manager of Final Site. So now that it's there, I can select it and you can add a title. This helps with ADA. Uh, you don't have to. Notice that we do have the checkbox that says open link in a new tab. If you're Linking to a document, that's probably a good practice so that people know they're going kind of out of your web page and they can close that tab and still be where they started. But it's totally up to you. Click OK and you are done. Technically, you should click on Save. You can always turn Compose Mode off and click on that to ensure it does pop open, which it does. And as always, make sure that when you make changes, you publish your changes. And that's it. So until the next time, talk to you soon.